Hi, in this video, I want to show you how to create an effect like this off text. And we can move this girl over here so you can make different choices for that. It's actually very, very easy. It looks really cool. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to say is that the first layer has to be your filled text. So if I try to create this, I'll just create a new layer just so you can see. And then I can click T or just text. And then I can type in, let's say, 2023. Now I'm going to make it bigger, choose the font you want. It can be any font whatsoever. So that's the first layer. After that, we need the second layer, which is the model. For this, you will need the Pro Canva version. If you don't have that, check the description below to get one. And I mean, you can just use the free trial before buying the whole thing. Anyways, we need a model. So we're going to go to elements or you could get a picture that has a transparent background as well. It's going to work. So I'm going to choose model, but it can be any image that you want. I personally chose this one. So if I click on it, you can't really see because the background is black. So I'm going to delete that. But then if I click this and I click edit image and I click background remover, I can just get my model. Before you continue, what's important is to make sure that if you need something restored, that you restore it. So by clicking that and then clicking over here, you can restore the hairs if that's something that you care about. Um, I personally, because as you can see with this image, it is kind of tricky. I personally, what I would do is I either would delete the hairs. So we would try to do this and then we would delete the, all the baby hairs that we have, which is kind of a lot of work. Or I would choose a background where it wouldn't matter that much. So it's up to you to choose how meticulous you want to be with this. But I'm not going to waste more time on this. And that's that. So after we're done, we're just going to click done and then we're going to click apply. So now we have the girl. In this picture, I didn't really mess with the hairs as you, well, you can't really see, but you can't really see because it matches the color of her hair. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a background that matches her hair. So I'm gonna click here and I'm just gonna either color pick it and pick it that way. Or another way you could do that actually is by right clicking on the image and then you apply colors to the image, to the page, sorry. So you would click that either are. So here it is and it applied it for us. The third layer we're going to have is a text that has uh, an outline effect. So if I just copy the first text I had and I go back to my third layer, I paste it here just for the sh show. We're going to click effect and we're going to click hollow. And then we can choose how thick or thin it is. So here it is. And now we're going to create the sandwich. So basically what it means that the first layer, the this one, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go to the actual image that I'm using and it has to be behind the model. So we're going to position it backwards and I'm going to make it bigger. And then after that, we're going to add this layer. And this layer has to be in front of the model. So now we're going to move it here and we're going to size it so it's size perfectly the same as it was. Or an easier way it is to select both of them and then just choose the font uh, you need. So I don't remember what it was, but let's say it's 300. And then after I've chose the font, what we're going to do is we're just going to position them so we don't have to worry about this here. So I'm going to position and make sure they're in the middle and also center. So now they're centered perfectly. So again, this is at the top and the other one is at the back and the girl is in the middle of them, just like a sandwich. So I'm going to drag her, make her bigger. We can put her wherever we want. And another thing, you can resize this so you can actually grab the other things. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to group them so it's easier for me. Oh, actually, no, don't group them. Never mind. But I'm going to select both of them and then I'm going to drag them where I want them to be. So let's say here. Now we can add this 
uh, we can do even more with this. So let me show you another example, for example, this. So now I've added flowers to the image that you can add very easily by just going to elements and then you just uh, type in dried flower and then you can just add all these flowers that you want. And another thing I did, which I'm going to copy this and delete the flowers so you can see better. Let's delete this. So I, I, okay, so I copy the girl image. So let's copy that. And then what I did is I made it smaller. So I just dragged over here. And by doing that, I'm hiding this letter. So, uh, and you can add multiple ones. So for example, if I delete this, you'll see that there's, it's like that. But if you add, it looks like it's in her hair. And I have one more over here as well. So I, again, I can copy this. And then I just make it as small as I want it to be. And then it looks like the text is tangled in her hair. Well, it has to be aligned, but okay, great. It's not aligned. So we just click position and center. Let me do this again so I can really show you. Make sure that once you do this, so you don't repeat my mistakes, that it's all aligned with the other image. And now make those kinds of changes so you can hide letters if you want you can hide just parts of the letter like i did there like that and another thing is that we can have multiple text effects like that for example i can have text behind her i can have text in front of her which is a nice effect and we can also add gradient so to add gradient this is the second thing i want to show you so again we would just type in uh, gradient here and we can choose from the gradients that we can find over here, for example, this one or this one. And then for the letters, the way you would do it is you would go to frames. So let's go to frames. And then over here, you're just going to type in the numbers. So let's say I have two and then I typed in zero the same way and I just had all of them. So now I can change these the way I want. And as you can see, if I have a brighter image, I do need to clean this up more. Also depends on the image. So some images are going to be better with this and others than others. So now uh, that I have this, I can add another uh, gradient or an image. So let's type in model. And what I can do is I can actually use the same picture to add here. But so that it doesn't look weird, we're going to just zoom it. So it's going to be a hairy one. So we're going to add and we can just do it like that and then it's hair over here that you can see in the image like that and like that and now of course if it doesn't fit what you're looking you just need to move it somewhere so instead of hair maybe it can be skin so it's you know it can be more visible and then this background, we're just going to change to, sorry, uh, we're going to change this background to this image. So I'm going to click on the image and then replace color here. So this is the look and then I can move these in the way I want and kind of creates a crazy effect. Now, what if you want to um, add your own font here? instead of you know using the frames that are available for you you want something else well i have a video for that and it's linked in the description so check that next if that's what you would like it's completely free actually and you wouldn't even need camera pro thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one bye